Hey guys, it's Brooke here. I just want to do a very quick video. Um, right now I'm about to do a ritual. And I just want to talk about a miracle that just happened. Um, that's how I know the spiritual is real and it's been with me my whole life. Um, I went outside to collect some rainwater for this ritual. And um, I had my little bowl and I went in the backyard and I'm like, oh my God, I look so ridiculous out here holding up a plastic bowl. But whatever, you know, my spirit's telling me to collect this rainwater. So... I was collecting the rainwater and the rain wasn't falling down too hard. So I was like, oh my God, I'm going to be out here for a while collecting this rainwater. So I remember a song that I wrote for Poseidon. I wrote a song to Poseidon because he's the god of the sea. And um, I was born um, a Pisces. I was born a Pisces. I was, bo I was born under Neptune. And... Um, I always had this connection with water. Like, I know that water is my element. You know, I have a very strong resonance with it. So, I wrote a song to Poseidon. And um, it was a love song. And I also was thinking about Yemaya, the goddess of the of the sea as well, goddess of water. I was just thinking about a lot of water goddesses and gods. And I was outside and I was laughing, holding up my bowl. Like, there's not a lot of rain coming down. And then all of a sudden, just a flash of rain just hit me like a huge shower just hit me out of nowhere instantly after I was singing my song to Poseidon. And I'm like, wow, this stuff is really powerful. It's really powerful stuff getting connected to the gods and goddesses of, of earth and nature. And I was so excited. I almost cried because I'm like, man, they heard me. They really heard me. Like they, it was just pouring down rain. And after I was done collecting the rain, when I came into the house, the rain stopped. I'm like, wow, that's how you know the spiritual shit is 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 very real. They hear us. The spirits hear us every day. And when you get connected to the to good spirits and good ancestors, they will help you out. So right now I'm about to do a ritual. And you guys are probably asking why the hell is there little bites and food behind it? Those are offerings to the ancestors. I'm gonna call on some ancestors and I just put things that they like right here. Now, I know this is not the most fanciest setup. Like, I had to come downstairs and do this because the sage smoke and everything burns people up. Uh, they, um, the burning of the sage bothers people upstairs. They don't like the smell. So, I'm doing it down here, and I have my mat out with these symbols on it, and I just set everything up in a way. Sometimes, you know, the best rituals are the ones you come up with on your own. You don't have to do every single thing by the book. Like, I do, like... I do some basic things by the book, but I also add my own creative flavor to it because when you can resonate with your setup, because your setup is for you, it's for you to connect with the um, ancestors. And if you don't like your setup, because you might listen to some ancient person who puts something together that's not resonating with you, then just make it your own. Be creative with it. Like I made this shit on my own. Like I know it looks ratchet to some people like, oh, the stones are not in the right place and all this shit. Like, I don't care. This is what I'm resonating with, you know? I put some basic shit in here, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it this way today because I'm feeling it. So I'm about to do my ritual, guys. And um, like I said, if you guys need tarot readings and spiritual consultation stuff, just send me an email or go to my website and go to the contact Brooks section in the services section or in the contact me section for um, consultation. But all right, guys, I'm about to do this ritual. This ritual is, is positive. It's to bring in um, good energy and things like that. All right, guys, have a great day.